Welcome all OET aspirants to our new video. We are speaking eaters. Thank you for all the support, we do appreciate that. Please continue to watch, support and subscribe our channel. Kindly subscribe and click the bell icon for more updates and videos. Please share with your friends. Our aim is to make speaking tasks more friendly and simplify them by providing lots of ideas and you can develop them into beautiful structures. Today, are we going to discuss OET speaking roleplay card, urine sampling. You see the parent of a six-year-old boy who has a suspected bladder infection. You give the parent a sample bottle an advice on the procedure for collecting a urine sample. Before we start the roleplay, let's begin with the introduction session. Good morning, my name is Shelby. I am the examiner for the OET exam conducting on 26th of August, 2021. Can you say your name for record? Good morning, my name is Carla James. What is your candidate number please? My candidate number is 721567. And you're taking the test as a nurse, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Can I see your ID or passport please? Sure, here it is. Now, we moving to warm-up sessions. They are not assessed, basically it's a chance to get each other's voices. In this part, I will ask you three to four questions before we move to role play. Are you ready Miss James? Yes, I am ready. Do you have a role model in your profession? Yes, I do have a role model in my profession. Her name is Sister Mahler. I like her personality, and she is a down-to-earth person, who is always willing to help and teach other nurses. Moreover, she is a good leader and a team player. She handles any situation perfectly, without any panicking. Why are you leaving your current position? While my last job was an opportunity for me to learn and grow at a comfortable pace in a smaller clinical environment, I'm looking for new challenges and opportunities to continue to expand my knowledge in a larger hospital-based environment. I am eager to try new things and learn skill sets that come from working in a faster-paced environment. Could you explain a trait in yourself which is least like about? I am a bit emotionally sensitive in breaking or giving bad news to a patient or to a bystander. I believe as human beings, we all find it difficult in breaking bad news. Do you think nurses should attend continuous nursing education? Yes, I do. The continuous nursing education program helps the nurses to update themselves with the current practices in their profession. Moreover, nowadays it is mandatory to have specific hours of continuing nursing education in order to renew the nursing registration. Hence, continuous nursing education is very important for nurses. Thank you Miss James, thoughts the end of warm-up session, and we going to start with role play now. Here is your topic, and you will have three minutes to prepare. During your preparation time, you can make notes or ask any doubts. Thank you. Setting is City Clinic. You see the parent of a six-year-old boy who has a suspected bladder infection. You give the parent a sample bottle, an advice on the procedure for collecting a urine sample as per doctor request. During the role play, as a nurse, your responsibility is to clarify all doubts and explain the procedure. Good afternoon, please come in and have a seat. Thank you. I am the registered nurse on duty today in this clinic. You can call me James. Hello James. How can I address you? You can call me Carla. Am I right in thinking that you have requested to see me? Yes, thoughts right. How can I help you today? Nurse, I am here with my six-year-old son, Adam. He is getting frequent bladder infection. This morning, we went to see the GP, and he requested for a urine sample for analysis. And, 
I am having some concerns with the procedure. No worries, Miss Carla. We will definitely help you and explain the procedure. Before I explain the procedure, could you please let me know, do you have any idea how to do this? Not really, nurse. The only thing I know, I just need to get him to pee into a container and then collect the sample from that. Oh, thoughts good. I appreciate your knowledge. Let me explain you in detail. The urine collection process requires certain steps. Firstly, you need to hydrate your child. When I say hydrate Adam, it means please provide him with enough water to fill his bladder. Once the bladder is full, he will have sensation to void urine. When he voids urine, please collect midstream urine. Lastly and most importantly, use a sterile sample bottle. Is that clear to you? Yes. At the same time, it is very important not to contaminate sample. If we didn't collect properly or take contaminated sample, we will get unreliable test result and the cause of bladder infection won't be identified correctly. I hope you understand the importance of it. Absolutely, nurse. I will follow the instructions you explained and will collect the sample. Nurse, how quickly do I need to bring the sample to the clinic? Oh, it's a very good question. I was coming to that point. Along with sterile sample collection, it is vital to bring the sample to the clinic within 12 hours. To be precise, the more faster you bring, we will have a reliable result. Once we receive the sample, initially, we will do a dipstick test, and following that, we will do full lab analysis, if needed. Are you following my point? Yes, nurse. Miss Carla, even after explaining the process of collection? You look bit anxious, may I know the reason? Thoughts right nurse, my son is keep getting bladder infections. And I don't think this problem will be resolved soon. Miss Carla, I completely understand your concerns. There is nothing to be alarmed about this bladder infection in children. You know, bladder infection is common in children. And it is caused by the reluctance to pee or due to the lack of hydration. Okay, now I feel a little better. Good. Miss Carla, can you please let me know? What advice did the doctor gave you to overcome this situation? Sure, nurse. He gave us a lot of advice, especially about hygiene, which I have been following. Thoughts good to hear. In addition, you can use cotton underwear and unscented or unperfumed products. Thank you, nurse. But it's really difficult to get Adam to drink anything, and he doesn't like using the toilet in nursery. I can sense your feeling, Miss Carla. Let me reassure you, your child Adam is not using the toilet in nursery as a common phase. And he will definitely comes out of it as he gets used to his teachers and friends. I am glad to hear that, it's just a phase. Nurse, I will get the sample done as quickly as I can. Good. Before we finish our conversation, I would like to give you some advice on hydration techniques for children. Along with water, you can provide Edmund with fruits and ice blocks. Will you be able to do that? Absolutely, nurse. Being said that, do you have any more concerns? No, nurse. You clarified all my doubts, and I really appreciate that. Thank you, Miss Carla. It was nice meeting you and wishing your son a speedy recovery. Thank you, Nurse James. Thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you guys learned how to do a beautiful roleplay discussion. Please continue to watch and support our contents. Press like and subscribe button to show your support. See you on our next video. Meanwhile, if you have any doubts or suggestions, please comment. We are Speaking Eaters.